there's there's the there's the donation link. Thanks, Nightpot. Um, and of course, you don't have to donate in that increment, but if you would like to, I can I would play a deck of your choosing. So, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to play this Soul Tie Contraption that does have four Oko in it, as well as a couple of Garrick, a couple of Roska, a couple of Nessa. This is basically like blue Jund. Um, so this is probably this is a deck I definitely want to try out with what we uh, with what we got going. So this is the one I'm going to play for the since I can play anything. This is the play anything in standard. So we're going to give this we're going to give this a whirl. Oh, craft all. Yeah, just go ahead and craft the card. You don't need to. You can still play with them without it. But that's nice that Arena would give us that option to accidentally click. So uh, let's get started with this. All right, submit deck. Here we go. Yeah, it's blue jund. It's blue jund. I don't know what else you want. That's what it is. I know jund when I see it. Okay. Jund doesn't have to have red. It's just primarily with red. Jund is more of a feeling. And a way of life than it is about specific colors of mana. Okay? Although you do have to have black and green. Jun deck with Mandel and Corvold? Yeah, that's a that's a nice little combo. I thought this our opponent's name was Pierogi Pie, which I was made me a little more excited. Okay. Um no Oko. We do have the Goose. We do have a Rider. We can cast Ness on turn 4, so we'll keep it. Alright. We'll make a Geese. A single Geese. Is there any chance all they can ban Oko in Standard? Yeah, sure. There's definitely a chance. There's always a chance. So, now normally, uh, I would play, I am a little tempted to play this Murderous Rider, but I think we'll, I think we'll be. Um, but either I can make a food or a Murderous Rider. Normally I would play this tapped, but. Paint the songs in a corner with this one. Now, Oka is pretty good. Mark Hide Troll. Okay. Well, we're just going to Murderous Rider this. This is when this attacks or blocks. Okay. We're going to ride. And then we'll play the Rider back out next turn. We'll take two. We're going to hold up this other rider. We won't be able to play Nessa on time, but that's okay. Okay, got another troll. We're going to hold the Fabled Passage. There's no... It's, it's not a pain land, so it doesn't really like benefit us necessarily from... Uh, doing anything with it. Doesn't cost us life. Putting when we put these on the bottom, having the having the ability to shuffle them is pretty good. So no blocks. We'll go to ten. Yorvo, another green, green creature enters the battlefield. Okay. We're gonna murder Shrider this also. Come on, catch a ride, Yorvo. Ooh, Thought Erasure. 
That's pretty good. So, if I get a Swamp, I can Thought Erasure and play Murder Strider. I think that's better than Nissa for right now. Just because I want to play Thought Erasure. Alright, cool. Uh, Voracious Hydra. And we'll get that one. We'll keep Oko on... Oh, rats. We have to tap this. Second. That's why we should have done that first. Should have done that first. No attacks. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll double block this. We'll trade one. I appreciate you, Billy Mac. Don't let anyone tell you different. We got a forest. I protect that which cannot protect okay. itself. Dread Horde invasion. And We'll just untap a regular old forest. Behold, nature's true power. Now they can flash this in, which I imagine they're going to. And the reason we untapped the forest is so we can make a uh, food. Vivian Arcbo Ranger. Sure. My heart beats in unison with the wild. Yep, it happens. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Interesting to see if they attack here. Nope, no attacks. Okay. Make a food. Make a 1-1. One, one. Have another Dreadhorde invasion. So, they can make this fight a thing. I just want to play a Dreadhorde Invasion. With these two manas. And we'll make this a thing. So we could attack Vivian. Actually, I think that's what we want to do. They can save it. Yeah, they have to sacrifice this little thing here. We gain two. I'm a survivor. And now if they want to kill something, it's going to cost them. Golden Goose, all that, and a bag of potato chips. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, like, these, these game scenarios make it very good. Because... While it's like, oh, well, it doesn't do anything because it can only add mana once. Well, while that's true, you can just make this huge, I suppose. I'm just going to chomp with uh, the zombie. Um, but we just get to make a bunch of food. They can't really afford, like I said, they can't really afford to kill Vivian. But, oh, okay, okay, they're killing Vivian to get Nessa. Now that makes sense. That makes more sense. 
I forgot they can hit planeswalkers. Either way, we're gonna we're gonna block. We'll block here. All right, mega food. Uh, we'll go ahead and sacrifice one of these foods. Gain some life. Lose a couple of life. Play another goose. Start the offensive. And then we can do the same thing. So we have uh, four mana available. Five mana if we really need it, but four mana likely. All right. Opponent could not handle the value. That was even without drawing really much of anything. No Oko, no Garrick, no Hydroid Crisis, no Vraska. Minimal removal. It's a good start. You're up against a heavy Evero deck, do you sideboard them out? The food seems good, but a little slow. No, uh, you're not really going to sideboard out the, the geese. Um, they do ramp you. If you're on the play, you know, a turn two, turn two Oko's uh, pretty good. Turn to a murder Rider is also pretty good, too. Being able to cast it. Alright. Uh, so this is Soul Diviner. This is a card I'm just trying, just because we have a lot of counters on our stuff. So, I'm going to keep this. Uh, let's lead with this one. I'm going to play the Dreadhorde Invasion first, though. Alright, so this is the ideal curve, is Dreadhorde Invasion into Oko. And we can just make the Dreadhorde Invasion tokens 4-4s, four essentially. Yep. And Oko is going to resolve here, which is, uh, you know, best case scenario. And we get to kind of see the ridiculousness of this card. I'm sure. It's a 4-4 four four elk now. And, put on and since it's not an army, I'll make another army next turn. Thought Razor, sure. Take your pick. They needed this last turn. Alright. So, same deal. This is this is going to be extremely difficult for our opponent to interact with. Like, very, very difficult. And then we have Soul Diviner to draw cards. Like, we can just make these three threes. All right, Fires of Invention. Ritual of Soot. Okay. All right. Uh, same deal. invite you to change your ways. All right. We played this because if we played this, we'd have two unknown cards, which is more likely to cause them to Thought Erasure. So that's likely if we have one unknown. You thought after war, uh, Watsy would have turned down the Planeswalkers? Nah. Oh, well. Yeah, gotta kill Oko. Narset. Sure. Alright, so. We can kill. Uh, we can kill Bolas. Which we need to do, obviously. Drawn from Dreams. That's coming next turn. Uh, we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold Oko. Okay, so we have three blue, three black, three green. Uh, we we'll get another black. Murder Shrider, so we can play them him on the same turn. We can just run this out there. They can't cast spells on. Uh, on our turn anyway, so now we just get Bolas. 
So Volus has to come down and kill Garrick. And of course, if we get low on life, Oko can just start making food. Because, you know, super duper reasonable card. And prepare. Okay, cry the Carnarium. Sure. So these won't trigger when they die, unfortunately. Imagine we're going to see Drawn from Dreams. So, we do have a Miser's Assassin Trophy to get rid of the fires. We have a lot of live draws. Basically anything. Nissa would let us play... Chandra's one. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Cry, okay. Those are the two spells. Hope it's not too hot for you. Okay, Murderous Rider, uh, it's a super sick draw. Okay, uh, let's Rider Chandra. You're gonna be sorry when I come back. Let's make Oko again. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and yep. free. Make this, make this an elk. Oh dear. Make two wolves. We are the apex predators. Jeff Renault New here. Just wanted to say I'm a big fan of the Commander versus awesome. Well, thank you for coming and joining the stream. No Commander here, but we do have we have a bunch of sweet stuff. Even still. This deck's right up my alley. It's a bunch of nonsense. Bunch of mid rangey nonsense. Infinite value. So, if we get the chance, we will kill Nissa. I just don't want to do it with a 4 4. I'd rather do it with a wolf. Because we have Hydro Crisis in our deck, so. And Braska and Soul Diviner. Alright, so. We can cast one of those. Could potentially sweep us. Kill one of our Planeswalkers. Okay. Alright. Take some damage. Hey, there's the trophy. Okay, so I actually don't need to kill this. Here, here, and here. Okay, that's here with our four four. Which is totally fine. I won't forget our time together. Okay, so we will make more wolves. Stay on the trail. We're going to make this into an elk. Your new look is in China. And then we're gonna get the fires. We're not gonna play this murderous rider quite yet. 
They can't. It's on. It's exiled. They can't really get out of us. They got out of our hand. Have they revealed how Garrett came back yet? They did in the uh, Wilder Quest novel. They did in the Wilder Quest novel. So, their deck is not nearly as good, most likely, without the Fires of Invention. They can play, like, a Nicol Bolas. Or a Narset to find out their Fires, and they can't cast any more spells. I imagine they uh, got their Drawn from Dreams with, uh, with the assumption this was going to be on the battlefield. It is, it is no longer on the battlefield. If we have a chance, we can kill, uh, potentially kill one of our own. Alright, there's Narsa. If we can kill one of our wolves, like if we draw a removal spell, we can kill one of our own wolves, uh, then we can. We can kill them. Hey, oh, there's Nessa. So, we're not going to play into this. Um, I think we have them dead. So this is another fun combo, because this deck is is full of fun combos. I will protect the of this world. So, untap... Uh, let's untap this island. Oko, make this an elk. Attack for lethal. Hello and greetings from Berlin. Very nice. I'm glad you're able to catch us. That's nice. More packs. More packs worse to open. All right, 2-0. It's a good start. So much value. Even the deck that casts their spells for free. Cast their spells for free. And where would outvalue them? Well, this looks great. Black, blue, plus black, blue cards. We'll lead with the Thought Erasure. This set is really powerful. This is, um,. I think top to bottom, this is probably more powerful than War of the Spark, although War of the Spark's top cards are, are better. As I say when I have uh, three War of the Spark cards in my hand, but... It's pretty good. I'll just say that. I put on turn two. I think I'd rather just make a blocker. In retrospect. A 2-3 blocker, that is. Maybe then kill it. So be it. Yep, you have a disfigure. Sure, I'll just play another one. Okay. Ah, Bone Crusher Giant. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, well. Now we'll Thought Erasure. Um, let's get Rankle because it has haste. Uh, 
We'll keep this forest. That means, okay, so with the forest, we can draw, play the forest, then play, uh, then fetch. Okay, so we can now play this out. Now we don't need to fetch green. We can actually fetch black with this. So they're gonna be able to play out. They can probably play out both of these. So it's probably better to kill this, and then when they untap Murderous Rider, this. It's not great, because we still take two, but you know, we are at 20, so. Sparse is killing us a little bit. Gotta get those Brand draft skills up. Let me know when you want to do it. Got also, it. go Hawks. Got oh, Whoa. hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. I got to put a... Uh, I have to put a, a caveat in in the future. We can't we can't be go hawksing. I don't know about all that. All right, when uh, either at the end of this one or next week, if you're here today, we can do we can do a draft and you can do all the picks. But none of that uh. And I go Hawks nonsense. Okay. None of that. Okay, so deals one to each player. Yeah, let's not let's not do that. We'll just take two. Next week is fine. So this week I kinda I'm I it, it depends on how quickly I go through these games, these twelve games. This is game th three. We're 2-0. Oh. oh no, we're going to get the full rankle. We're not going to get the full rankle. We're probably going to get a discard a card. I doubt we'll get draw. Just discard a card? Alright. Okay, so we have plenty of black. Rise, my elemental friend. We could have played Dreadhorde Invasion off of this, which perhaps would be smart. Rob are the rich. Okay. Yeah, that would have been smart because we're just going to lose it now. Alright, well. Gains death touch. They can't activate this? Sure. Oh, they have three lands over here? Oh man, that was not good. That was not good. I thought they only had two. Oh, that was a, that was a punt. We're punting. Live punts in progress. We're definitely going to be discarding. That's probably it. Yep. Murderous Rider. Okay. We're not we're not dead yet. I can't play this out because I need to kill Rankle. Rotting at Regisar. Okay. 
Now they cannot activate this. They only have two. Okay. Alright. We'll get Rankle. Okay, well they're just going to discard this back, but, you know. Whatever they want to do is fine. I guess we will get the breeding pool. Untap that. No attacks, though. No attacks. Alright, Gutter Bones is gone. Get your punts out now. Got it. Okay, attacking us. So we can... We can block the Regisar with both of these. Block here. So we can keep our Nessa alive. I think that's what we want to do. Then they can't get back Gutter Bones. They pumped the Red Shard, but that's irrelevant. Okay, that goes on the bottom. Alright. Oko's pretty good. We can't. We can. We can do. We we sh, we can do both of these. So. Okay. So, this just costs us these two. Kings grovel. Tap. Worms rule. Untap. Behold, nature's true power. Play this. So this is at nine, so we can get a bunch of lands, then we'll put we can just make this an elk. Four four elk sure. Okay. If we can pull this off, this is gonna be a hell of a comeback. Tagging us for four? No, no bucks. I don't think they can do five. Sure, that's fine. Gutter Bones, got it. Other Knight, got it. Okay, so... So lands are indestructible. When the land speaks, I shall listen. You get all of these. Tap, 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 tap. i play this so they can't activate the robber. I can block both of these. This is a 3-3. Three, three. I think we should make food. We should make a food. Surely you must be famished. Alright. We'll attack with our indestructible land. Oh no, do they think it's on do they not know it's indestructible? Okay. So opponents at seven, so it's not like they are they don't they don't have a ton. They don't have a ton of stuff going on. Okay. 
uh, block here and block here. We're going to take six, sacrifice this food. And we gain some life from this. And if they have a heart fire, we're dead? Oh, no. They are dead. They just don't know it. Oh, they figured it out. No, we needed, we needed to make a food. We needed to make a food that last turn. And basically any draw was live that is not land. All right. Unpunt. Reverse the punt. 3-0. Take credit. Also get credit for the non-punt. To be fair, if you get credit for the punt, you get credit for the unpunt. Oh, this deck is sweet. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Definitely fine. Yep, we'll play this. We'll lead with all Thought Erasure. Ah, our favorite. The stupid... This this thing. Hey, look at that. Oko, on turn three. We're not going to take Teferi, surprisingly enough. We actually have a lot of ways to deal with Teferi. I think we're just going to take... The Krasis? Um, let's bend the Garrick. Hey, that's why we bend them. Wait, did we did we bend it? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right. Oko, it is time. Out one it's just time to Oko. That's not what they want, I don't think. Make more food. Um, the food becomes creature. Surely you see the humor here. All right. Now our opponent does get to do this, but they have two fields in play, so they're going to go up to five unique lands. I guess they can get seven next turn. So it's not like it's going to be super duper easy. But through all things, o Oko is, uh, you know, it's going to make it possible. That pre-release? I did do a pre-release. I did two pre-releases. I was able to go 4 and 0 in both of them. And uh, in my prize packs, I was able to get this card. Not this one. didn't look like that, but, you know, the standard looking version. Hey, there's our own Krasis. I think we just want to Gaze make into my face make these and put on your true shape. like this and uh, keep the keep the party going. We can kill some creatures. We can make another food. We definitely want to make another food so we can make Oko be uh, a thing. Teffrey? Um, yep. I am not going to sit this one out. 
So they're gonna balance a food. No, they did not balance a food. I've got time. What are they doing? Are they not gonna route? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, the first thing that we're going to do... Let's skill tap free. I have a deafening clarion. Okay, they're going to route now. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes way more sense. Now, I still could have done that, is the thing. Okay, so we're going to take two. Uh, we can get a swamp with that, but we're going to make this an elk. Oh, dear. And they can they can double block a couple of them. Uh, we can tyrant scorn one. No, double block, double block. Sure. The swamp. Tyrant scorn. Bounce one. They're at six. Tepri, because they can bounce some food. You'll thank me later. Golos. Alright. They're gonna fill to the dead, that's gonna be three more. Admittedly not great. However, we can just trade like like trade the tapped goose. For Golos. Alright. On the defensive. On the defensive a little bit. Alright. Guess we're not going to be doing that. But now we can kind of freely... Yeah, that's fine. We can kind of freely play our Krasis. Quite the nibble. I'm going to try to play it for four so it survives a Clarion until next turn. Make a food. Welcome to the feast. Uh, X equals four. All right. Then we'll play, play a temple. So if Oko can live, which is a big if, then we can fly over with the Krasis. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, it doesn't. It won't have flying. We'll be a seven-seven now. We do get to play Garrick. We'll get to even play a Soul Diviner. Garrick and a Soul Diviner. Is that three more blockers? Okay. Now they have a Krasis. Which is definitely not what we want. Uh, 
No, that's not good. Now, what could get us out of this pickle? Okay, so... This one we do have to kill their crisis. This curse, this thrumming, I need them gone. Gone! Serious. Serious business. So we cannot get a forest. We have to get a swamp. Or an island, I suppose. Swamp. Swamps are better now. Food. It's not poison. Trust me. Like this. Stupid thing. Just fly over and hit Garrick. Oh, well, alright. Guess we'll kill it. They're gonna have three more, so they're gonna have 13. 13 zombies? That math not Let's see work out in our favor. Eight of them are lethal. Alright. Maybe they can't do math. Like us. Could have more. I could have uh, one zombie for every point of our life total, which would be bad. Yep. 13. I think they're going to figure it out. I think they're going to figure it out. I've got it. Let's find out. I they really want to kill our planeswalkers, though. There's a chance of that. No. They figured it out. Alright. Just let me die. Okay. So we're X and 1. Alright, I'm going to take a short bathroom break because I'm here squirming. So we're, four, we're 3 and 1, but I'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
Onward. Three and one, not bad. So this weekend the event is uh, 12 wins to get a full a one of everything in standard. And then you hit two losses, you're out. You stop. So right now we're three and one. Oh no. Can't snuckleball us. Curtis, you are going to have to miss it. Alright, we'll keep this even though we don't get to goose. Early. Starts the 5th. I believe it does start this weekend. Don't know exactly when. So we're going to get a forest here. So we can play Goose. And then we'll pass. Just in case, in case anything happens with the Goose, we can still play Oko. Okay. Now they're done. Okay. Um, we'll get an island. Immediately punished for not getting a small. We'll play Oko. Open your heart to the magic that dances yep. around you. And start attacking. Let's broaden your existence. Attack with our elks. Tough break, sure. You gonna bounce this? You got it. Just thought to raise you. Uh, let's go ahead and get the fires of invention. We don't need another okay. We'll make a food Surely you must be and pass. So if they declare on they only get the goose. Trust me, I have a plan. Red Horde Invasion is nice. So we have four mana. If needed, of course. And they're going to clear on if we try to attack Tefri, so... We'll play the Dreadheart Invasion. And... We'll make more food. Think a little merriment is in order. No tax. So now we can murder Shredder, Tefri. Fay of Wishes. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal. I guess they're getting a Fires of Invention. Most likely. Interesting that they would just do that, because I think they could have done that on our turn with the, with the Tefri, but maybe not. Who knows? I could just not know what I'm talking about. It happens a reasonable amount of the time. Prison Realm? Yeah, you got it. Okay, so we're at five. Uh, 
I think I want to just kill Tefri outright. Uh, reason being is I want to make this a 4-4 so it can survive the Clarion, and then they have to like Tefri and bounce it, and then we can just get their other Tefri. They're a little choked on mana, so I'd like I'd rather take advantage of that. Prison Realm? Sure. We got Okos for days. Okos for days. If I draw a land, we can Garrick. Nope. Now we're just gonna Oko. Okay. Thought Erasure. I think we just want to get Ugin. This is good. That's a good one. Attack here. Alright, we're gonna make another Oko. We're gonna make this into a 4 4. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out you. I invite you All right. to change so, your ways. They can bounce. They can bounce one of the elks. Sorry, I'm late. Yep, which they do. So first thing that we're going to do is try to take care of Tefri now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. And we don't want them to do things that are in step, so let's go ahead and then take care of them. Will meet again. We're still a little land light. We can always make a food and feed it to the goose. But I'd like to do that when we play Garrick. Clarion? Two Clarions? Sure. That is more than acceptable. Yep. Just gonna keep doing it. We'll play a Murder Strider. Okay, so they can gain a couple of life off Narset. Which is pretty good. When is someone going to break fires? Eventually. I don't know exactly when, but I know that it will happen. Speak of the devil. Well, that was a hell of a draw. Okay, so... I invite you to change your ways. I guess the first thing that we're going to do is get Nyssa and then attack our opponent for two, gain a little bit of life. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. And we're going to get fires, make them mess with that. We're not going to play this Dreadhorde Invasion. It makes our tokens essentially just 5-5s, five which is not bad, but it's not super du duper du great. I'm 
Might take that out. Fay of Wishes with five mana untapped. Yeah, Oko and Invasion is pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. Time wipe? Sure. Also a pretty sweet combo with Nyssa. Because I can make 6-6 six, six haste creatures. We'll make this. We're going to untap this island. So now, this has haste, but Oko would make it lose haste, so I don't want to do this yet. I can do it next turn on the other one that's already been on the battlefield. So I think that so I think our opponent is just looking for another wrath. Of course. Fires of invention. If they cast this fires, they're dead. Okay. I guess they cast that first. That's that makes sense. Okay, now I think we still have them because we can play Garrick here. We can kill their Fairy of Wishes. It doesn't matter if we don't draw a card. Uh, we can Oko. Make this big. And then we can untap this forest. And then we can attack them for a 13. Combinations! Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. A proper junding. Alright, four and one. What did we lose to? It was the. Oh, we lost to Field of the Dead. That's right. What could we have done? In that matchup, I wonder. Gonna go work out? Alright, Curtis, thanks for coming by. Glad you got to see all the junding. We have a turn to Oko on the play. Gooses and geeses. Now we're going to make some more food. This goose is just so hungry. It's just ravenous. It's so hungry. It just requires so much food. We've never known a, a goose to eat so much food. The crazy thing is, this geese eats its own eggs. It's disgusting, quite frankly. This is essentially what I just wanted to. How's it felt to play? Uh, pretty good. We're four and one. We've had some pretty sweet wins. We did lose a field of the dead deck, which I feel like we're going to be playing here in a second. Again. Let's see what we got. Another temple. 
No. Because we can play Nissa with this, so... Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. And this is going to make another food so we can play the Nissa. What's the sleeves? Uh, these were from TwitchCon, which I did not go to, but uh, Ollie went and he was he was nice enough to get, to give me a code for them, but they're pretty dope. Tuffrey, that happens. I'm known for my excellent timing. And bounce this food. We'll shake. Okay. You got it. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right. Make some food. So, let's just go to black with this. Could trophy? I think we need to save the trophy. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, let's attack Garrick. And let's make and just make another food rather than making this a six six. I like to do that offensively, so directly before I attack, rather than post combat, and so it can die, and you just kind of get less out of it. Might be a bad idea. Which is not really what I want. Thanks, Severo B. Thanks for coming by. So we do get untapped with Nissa next turn, which is always nice. No, I guess we don't. Opponent could not could not handle. Handle the Oko. Alright. Five and one. Not bad. Feels pretty powerful so far. I think it's... There's definitely... Uh, definitely some improvements to be made. This card in the background, Shimmer Dragon, this is a pretty sweet one. If you have four artifacts, that's Hexproof, I think. And then you can tap two artifacts to draw a card. Tap four artifacts to draw a card. Maybe I got that backwards. Either way, it gets Hexproof and you can draw cards with it. What improvements will I make? Um, let's see. I, I would definitely take out a Dreadhorde Invasion. The first one is exceptional, but the second one is much worse after that. Sure, we'll keep this. We have a turn one goose. So this invasion is very good, but future invasions are not as good. So that's one slot. Probably want another Assassin's Trophy. That seems to have come in handy. Um, you, it, it's not exactly great to get their field of the dead with an assassin's trophy, but it, you know it does do the job. You're not killing any other way. 
Four hex proof, two to draw. Thank you. Fin lurker. Well, we get a fatal passage. Hmm. Well, I'll save the two life. This takes um, Vraska off the table next turn if we were to draw an untapped land. Our opponent fin lurkers us again. We're gonna get rid of the trophy because it's likely we'd have to wait a little longer than we want to to make that as useful. When this fail passes, we're gonna get a swamp. I need to do a new change to the little fox over here behind the untapped overlay. Okay, it looks like opponent might be MIA. Well, that was a good draw. Thought Erasure. Yeah, let's get this dab roll. Yeah, we'll keep this land. I have to hope hope that our opponent comes back. Not really helping us to pick up wins against people that are not paying attention much, so. Well, they do have a hell of a play if they can manage to hit us. Which they can't now because we have the Dreadhorde invasion, but... The, uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to play that much attention to the format you're shaping up for Eldraine. How has Emery been shaping up, if I know? Um, I have not seen Emery in Standard. I've seen Emery in Modern in the Urza decks, which is looking scary. Unless you like those decks, then it is looking very nice. Have you tried the token plan with Woodland Champion, Lovestruck Beach, Inquisitive Puppet Puppets? No, not yet. It's more budget, but it's been digging in paper until I get Garrick's. No, I have not. Um, okay, so we're going to do um, full control. We're going to play this, and then prior to the scry, we're going to pop this, and we're going to get a blue. Are we? Yeah, we're going to. Now we will scry. Crasis. Nah, we'll get a Crasis later. No, you know what? Let's just get a Crasis now. Whatever. I think our opponent's just not not with us anymore. Yeah, you know, Woodland Champion's pretty sweet. There's a lot of things that put tokens into play. Okay. Opponent, opponent no longer there. Alright. And 
And as much as I like Vivian, I do have a Garrick now. Oh, I'm gonna hunt you down. Ever see a volcano erupt in My axe no. is ready, pal. Andrew's ready. Pet select. Look at the Fay Fox. Okay. Back at it. Play any deck. Continue. Six and one. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Seems like it's going to be a little difficult to get to, I guess, get to 11 wins. But we'll see. All right. This is not great. We don't really want two of these, as we had discussed. Probably should go take one out after this. Turn them all again. Uh, this I will keep. And we're going to put the Krasis on the bottom. Is going to get Urza banned in Modern? No, I don't think so. Uh, jump off the bottom. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think if if it would be anything, it's not going to be. No, it's not going to be because of it. Three. Quench. Sure. So, of course, our first hand would have been very good. You can counter this one if you'd like as well. No? Okay. So, we should need to get the Vraska on the battlefield if we are able. And then we can kind of just hold up instant speed stuff. Though they probably have the Sinister Sabotage now. Let's find out. I have no... I have no... doubt that this is going to get countered. But by what? Negate? Okay. Alright. Well, we're going to hold up removal... Okay, on someone interesting. Alright. Soul Divner again, you got countered on the way down. Okay. We're definitely gonna get two out of this murderous rider. And they're going to try to play it at the end of our turn. We're going to get a black with that anyway, so I guess we'll try to Oko. Probably also going to get countered. Sinister Sabotage, sure. Okay. They kept that on top. So perhaps it's a threat. I don't think we want lands, so... Let's go swap. Aha! Drew another land anyway. Right, but now we can ride her in Tyrant Scorn. Do not want the Goose. The Goose can be unloose. Okay. Four drop. Ambusher, which resolves. Murder Shrider kills him.
Okay. And let's now let's try the rider. Resolves. Alright, we'll play the goose. They probably just have another one of the their four drops. Guess we will find out. Sinister sabotage on the goose. The rider's fine. Okay. If you say so. All right. Well, this Garrick's going to be tough to resolve. I feel like we need to run them out of cards. So I'm just going to hold up both of these Tyrant Scorns. I'd rather not tap out into a... Uh, what's it called? And let's destroy this creature. Okay. We'll have to deal with this eventually. There's no way they won't won't take the bait. Crisis is a good draw. Maybe we can just play that if they don't try to kill this. Still draw two, gain two. For four, all right. So we're going to go back to 20. There's Sensor Sabotage. At least it meets our Krasis and not our Garrick. And it's also, at least it's not a, uh... What's it called? Frilled Mystic. Alright. Let's play the Diviner. You gonna counter this? No? Alright. I'm not gonna bite with the Garrick then. Ambusher. So, let's bounce Ambusher. Hmm. Maybe we don't. Maybe. We go to bounce the token and then try to Garrick and kill this. I think that's what we want to try to do. Okay, they only have one card in their hand. I don't think it's a counter spell, but maybe it is, who knows. Resolve. Bounce the token. Okay, so... Let's well, Assassin's Trophy first. Because if this resolves, then we can just play Garrick. Alright, there's the Frilled Mystic. Alright. We have resolved. We have resolved. Try not to lose your head out here. We're not going to attack. In the event that they have an unsummon, they can unsummon our other one. All 
Alright. One counter from Garrick to draw a card. Zero. We are the apex. We got two we got two of these, so I'm gonna use one now and then one to force something else through. Brazen Borrower, yep. Got it. You bounced it. You did it. Treadhorn Invasion. Nah. We'd like to draw like an Oko, I think. Or other Planeswalker. Any other Planeswalker would be good. Nah, that'll work. So, Garrick is going to die because they can just play the Borrower. So we can attack here. Sure. And it goes on the bottom. Okay. And then when they go to attack Garrick, we can remove the last counter to draw. <laughs> uh, uh, what a little card. What a little card that is. No attacks for you. All right. Attack for four. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's play eight. Well, that was really good. That resolved. Now, we didn't draw... Well, we did draw another crisis. I was going to say we didn't draw much, but I guess we kind of did. So I need to draw another borrower. That doesn't feel like a borrower. That feels like a land and a nonsense spell. We don't need this. We're just going to attack and then crisis. Now, they're they're dead unless this is... I, I don't know this could be. Sailor? Yeah, I mean they could have blocked, but you know. They're not winning they're not winning the game like that. Alright. 7-1. That's a good little uh that's a good little run. Wait. Cancel. Salt Eye, yes. I know I don't have these cards. We need three geese, two Dreadhorde Invasion. So we're going to take out one of the Dreadhorde Invasion. Put in a fifth Oko. Now I think we're just going to put in another trophy. I think that's what we want to do. The Diviner is cute. I don't know if it's good. Uh, we'll keep it for now, though. Yes, we'll save an exit. Okay, play any deck. We have to reload it. Because otherwise it will keep the same list. Try to trick you. You don't want to let it trick you. Okay, you can see we have two trophy updated. Uh, we'll keep this. This is this is not a great hand. We don't have any other action, but we do have a thought erasure. We have, so we should have two scries and one on the play. I think that's probably strong enough. Dreadhorde Invasion's pretty good, but I would rather get some other 
action that's a little bit more proactive. Which seems weird, it's like a Bitter Blossom card's not proactive, right? But, you know, that was who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, uh, the Thief of Crowns. Okay. Alright, so we have a little feather action. Um, so, let's just get feather herself. We're gonna take two. We are gonna play Oko. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Where am I gonna see it? Welcome to the So Oko can attack for four as it currently stands. If they can kill Oko, we are we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. But if they can't kill Oko, then I feel pretty good. Okay. They can kill Oko. Yeah, they're gonna kill Oko, so that's not great. Now, alternatively, they could not kill Oko. Okay, they can kill Oko. So if they could not kill Oko, then that would work out much better for us. Uh, two two crisis. I think we kind of have to. Yeah, this is not exactly lined up. All right, there's a Vrosko, which is very good. We can get this Legionnaire. Arcanist, sure. So we're gonna go to nine, no blocks. Okay. This is not bad. This is still a little bit of a problem, but I think I would rather... The, the upside for Nissa is much higher. We can also sacrifice this. So that gives us a little bit more life. Then we can play Vraska next turn and get the Legionnaire. Yikes. A lot of Legionnaires. Resolve. Game's flying. Okay, well they're out of they're out of tricks before blocks. Other than like attacking us to death. Which, to be honest, is a pretty good trick. Okay, gonna resolve all of these. Okay, so we can just kill this, block this, okay. this is does this a no trample? Okay. All right. We'll block like so. We're at four. 
Snack of food, go to seven. Another crisis. Okay, so that's that's actually pretty good. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. So we could do a huge crisis, but I think I'd rather get this down. We're going to tap that for mana. So the first thing we want to do is attack for three. Yeah, because I'd rather get that down and then play the uh, kill the Legionnaire. Okay. Your demise won't be quick. Five, five. Quiet. I won't forgive this. Untap this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do this e X equals five. We have two geese. We just have flying. Arcanist, okay. Don't give this haste or anything, that would be nonsense. Divine Strike, sure. Okay, we can still block and trade. I'd rather keep this around and try to block next turn. Two pump spells? Like two independent pump spells would kill us? I'll risk it. I think this is a much higher upside play. Okay, that's one. Lower downside, obviously. Okay, we'll go to two. Hallelujah. Okay, so two green, goose, resolve, goose. We can sack a goose. I think we want to attack with all of these, then play Vraska and kill this. Nine. We actually force our opponent to block, which is pretty sweet. Actually, that's much better. Sacrifice one of these. Untap. Yeah. That's 14, so opponent has to do some blocking. And then we can play uh, Vraska post-combat. And then kill their Legionnaire. Yep, that happens. They're at three. Yep. We're gonna play another one. That's right. We're gonna keep this one. Your life's about to end. Hope you're and we're gonna kill you. Stupid thing. It's 
Yes. The grind is real. Too real for Feather. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to take a short restroom break. Been drinking a lot of water, folks. I appreciate that my mouse was already moused over Oko. It looks like we're going to keep this hand. We don't have any couple first turn plays, but we have Oko on three, so I think that's probably good enough. Yeah, that one was definitely close. That one was close. We did that without having double black the entire game. Once upon a time. I think that card is just okay. I thought it was really good, but I think it's just okay. Ninja Dave, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we are crushing people with this, this Sulfide deck. Oh, baby. All right. What's Slaughter Ranger? That's a good draw. All right. We're going to get this Lucky Clover because uh, it's difficult it is difficult to beat this deck going long. Alright. You know what time it is. Your favorite and mine. Revel with your king. Wild and sovereign and free. Wild and sovereign and free. Sure go to Beanstalk Giant, right on. Okay. So hostile to the truth. Let's get the beats. I invite you to change your ways. Let's get the beats go. Beats going on. Um, let's just play a Krasis for two. Try to draw a land. Another Nyssa, okay. Maybe dig us closer to a land. Um, if they don't kill the Krasis now... Then we're going to make it a 5-5. Five, five. Hey, just want to let you know I enjoy your podcast. I always look forward to it every week. Awesome. Thank you, Raging Bull. Much appreciated. That's uh, 
that's definitely something that I, I, I really love doing, is the Think Twice. So, much appreciated. Pawn land, yes. Let's play Anissa. Through this land, we are all connected. Behold, nature's true power. John Meyer. Okay. This time we are gonna make it a six six. Oh dear. But still has haste. Oh, it doesn't have vigilance anymore though. Well, that's okay. Can they stop in response if they leave the mana up? Yeah, they can. Bone crusher. Draw a couple. All right. Okay. Oh, we got a block. Got to block. So... We need black mana. Leave me be and you'll escape with your life. Maybe. Untap here. Make a couple of blockers. You're not scared of dogs, are you? And then attack here. Yep. Block with a one one. Hmm. We just make make another food to be able to attack next turn. Put Oko more out of range. It's not poison. Trust me. And we keep up the murderous rider. No, I think we should kill one of these. I think we should kill one now. No need to mess around. We have a Planeswalker army. Let's let's make sure that we can keep keep our value train going and, and suppress theirs a little bit. Love Commander vs. Man. Watch every week and just went back and rebinged every episode I've been watching since back before the four-player Commander vs. started. That is a long time. Finally, I'm able to catch a stream of yours. You're the best. Thank you. That's awesome. You came at a good time. You came at a good time. Oh, this is cute. They can drain us for a few. So, interesting thing here. They cannot attack. Uh, well, they should... Let me rephrase. They should not attack. Because now Garrett can ultimate. And this is going to be... Big time bad news bears for our opponent here. So, just so we can do the full flex. I'm sure. Yeah, that was that was not 
there. That was not what our opponent wanted to do. Which is really weird because it's like, oh, uh, if I if I attack this planeswalker, it's not gonna be able to ult. Yeah, just just twenty. Twenty some, no big deal. Uh <laughs> but it, but with Garrick, you you're basically have you basically have like no option. Are you gonna not attack it? Are you gonna attack it? I don't know. Sorcerer's Broom. Okay, two games remaining. That means we are nine and one with this deck. Nine and one. Oh no. What are you playing against another Garrick? Tumble Omega flex like all I'm doing the mental flex. Okay? Flexing this right now. We'll keep this. We got an outcome. Do you have a Discord or something? I do have a Discord for uh, my podcast called Think Twice. And you can access it for if you go to our Patreon, which is, uh, it's actually probably a little bit above. Let's see. Yeah, right there. I guess we play this. In the event we draw another land so we can play Oko on our turn. Uh, but the, the Discord is... Uh, it's, a, it's at our dollar tier on the Patreon, so... I also get you other stuff in addition to that. Well, Ginger Brute. Uh, I knew there was going to be another Fervent Champion. I'll save a bunch of damage. Now we'll take two instead of five. Land. Excellent. Alright. Just like we drew it up. We have an Oka. We do need a swamp. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Surely you must be famished. Can you tell me what this is? This looks interesting. This is just a soul tide deck that I made up. It's not it's not any particular thing necessarily. Uh, yeah, just, just, just a, just a deck that I made up. Now, a lot of other people watching are part of that Discord, so they can tell you whether it's worth it or not. Tell me what this is, it looks interesting. No, the Patreon thing? Uh, that is just a way for people to support, uh, my podcast and the content that I make. But you, that's, that's how you get access to, uh, the Discord channel. Okay, so let's make this a let's thing here. Your existence. We're not going to attack Chandra yet. Maybe next turn. Okay. Definitely want to kill this. Alright, let's see if they go for Oko. They going for Oko with everything? Okay. It's gonna make Oko dead. Which is not a big deal. We can kill this here. Um, we can't block because this stupid thing. So. Yeah, Oko's. No, Oko's dead. I see how it is. Okay. Do we want to gain three life now? No. Because we need to feed it to the goose. Alright. We will get, uh. Murderous Rider. Uh, Torbane and Combat. Yes, the $30 tier is sold out. Uh, there's only so many of those I'm able to do. And that is the... We're at maximum maximum capacity for that. Hi to my fiery friends. Sure. 
sure. Okay, so... We're gonna block. Here. 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 And then before damage, we do have to take two, so we're gonna take three overall. And they probably have a shock to finish this off, but so be it. And sack this. This might die, but this is definitely gonna die. Yeah, that's fine. So we take one. So we took three damage overall. Chandra Spitfire. Okay. Land. Tyrant Scorn. Okay. So we have four mana. We really need to get Chandra. Here's the thing. Because if, if this is a cavalcade of calamity, um, we could definitely be in trouble. I guess we just pass. And if they don't cavalcade, then we can kill this this turn with Tyrant Scorn. And if they do cast Cavalcade, then we'll kill Chandra. But I suppose they could put those into play first, which would be bad. Be very bad for us. All right. Another fervent champion. Sure. Yep. Don't worry. I brought company. Gingerbread. It's a lot of damage. So we're just going to kill Spitfire. Take six, go to six. Not cast this. It, it thinks that I can, but I can't. Okay, Chandra's still around. We can do Crisis for two, which is not, not super great, especially with these. I just play a, play a Life Link creature. Really need to draw a land. We're getting a little short on lands here. No attacks. Chandra has just remained unimpeded. But I do have that stupid castle, which is a problem. Shock. All right, what are we shocking? Our face? That's even worse. Yeah, I like to think on my feet. That means we're probably just dead. Especially if we have another shock. 
coming down. You attack with those Corbin champions? Hmm? Yep. Indeed you are. Need you're not. You can't block. Oh. Alright. Okay. Uh All right, not bad. We're nine and two. Let's see if we can hit ten. We just with twenty six lands of deck, we just didn't draw. We could draw our geese. Curtis, are you are you suggesting uh, that you're going to have some uh, Robocop based question of the weeks? All right, Brandon. Since this is the last game, we'll do a we'll do limited after this. Regardless if we win or lose, I think our run has been pretty successful. All right, uh, we're gonna keep this. This is removal heavy, but we can kill everything. So. We'll keep. Judge Dredd? Not Robocop. Okay. I apologize. I'm sure I offended someone out there, probably two of you, probably Curtis and. Oh, look, it's Oko. We'll keep Oko. Judge Dredd, that's it. Haha, we hid the Oko on top of our library. Tapped. No need to Thought Erasure again. You definitely got everything worth getting. Totally unnecessary Thought Erasure. If you have one, it's not worth it. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Okay. Scribe two to the top. That's pretty good. Don't counter my Oko. You gonna negate it? No way you're going to quench it. Drown in the lock. Eagle number cards in its controller's graveyard. It was, I had exactly three. Clever. I have just the trick for this. Very clever. Or Narset. Alright. Resolve an Oko this time. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. It's not poison. Kings grovel and worms rule. Kings grovel and worms rule. That's what Oko wants to do. He's a psychopath. Again. Our first murderous rider battle. Let's autumn this. Play Vraska. Sack this food. 
Oh, card. oh no! We've been had. We've been had. God, I hate Narset. What a miserable, miserable card. A whiff? Alright, I guess we're even. Could have just saved that and then done it now. Let's not give you a chance to do anything. Let's also, we'll kill your the rider here. Okay, so our opponent's got one card in their hand. We have a big bad planeswalker that we're not too too far from ulting. Pathetic. Should have an extra card in our hand, but we are buffoons. Okay, that was a good draw. X equals four. And that just immediately happened. As long as we win, uh, decline. So many murderous riders. They're the most murderous of all of the riders. All right, sure. An overgrown tomb. I don't die that easily. Okay, so green, green. No. So I think what we're going to do is kill this. Play this. Plus is not sack anything. Are they going to try to draw a Murderous Rider? That would be very good. We're going to have a Nissa, so... It's only so good. Okay. So first thing we're going to do... Is sacrifice this little friend here. Okay, so this is what really what we wanted. Pay two. Leave these untapped. Mess up. Drown in the lock, okay. What's the last card in your hand here? Island. Soul Diffener, we can bottom. I guess we should have done that in the reverse order. We got greedy. Now, it might not matter. Because I think we're about to... No! No! Uh, the greed. The greed was real. 
man, we punted that. We definitely could have got their uh, their thing. I was just trying to get as much mana as I could. Just way too greedy. All right, I'll just play our, our riders out. Okay, they get to draw. There's one life. That's pretty good. Sure. We get our rider. Now the thing is, they can't play Murderous Rider and draw a card. Well, they could have, had they taken two. I guess they didn't want to do that. Alright, come on. Time to draw... Time to draw Garrick or something. Does Castle deserve a spot in this deck? This is really the only time it looks like it would have been good. Hey, that was a good draw. Actually, let's sack this. Got a land. We can protect Raska. We'll save this in case these murder shredders get put on the bottom. And we'll pass. We'll hold the forest in our hand. Does Castle Observe spot in this deck? Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. Um, we do need a lot of colored mana. Like, there's so many gold cards in the deck, so it is tough. It is. It is really tough to tell. To be perfectly honest. Sacrifices must be made. Sacrifices must be made. That's just true. All right. start to get murderous. They're going to try to draw counter. Just let that happen. Drown in the lock. Okay. So be it. I would like to draw Hydroid Crisis. And we still have one left. There's two in here. Alright. So we mill two. No! Hydroid Crisis! Alright, we have a Garrick, a Nyssa, an Oko. Okay, those were not those were not useful. Well, what lands do we have left? So we have an island and a swamp left. One top, one bottom. Okay. We're gonna draw something. Kefnet. All right, right on. Thought Erasure, that's no good. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Sazen's Trophy, that is pretty good though. You did kind of log on to see me get milled. I mean, not really, I have 23. They're, they're still trying to just kill me with damage is the thing.
No attacks. Enter. It's more mill adjacent. All right. Ooh, baby. Come on. Come on, Vraska. Yeah, that's fine. You can go back. You can go back all you want. Come on, let's go to our turn. Cavalier, draw three, put some back, sure, whatever. All right, this turned around a little bit because now they get to have Kefnet, which is not what we want. Two very large flyers. Yep. Okay. There's a land. Not great. Uh, we could attack, which wouldn't do much. Like, we could get an emblem, but we have to... Yeah, I think, I think Emblem's out the window. So now I'm unsure of how we're able to win. This was a good draw. Cavalier of Gales was a very good draw. Let us get two... In, our opponent have two enormous creatures. A bunch of extra coach and pre-release kits. Can you do anything with them? I could not, personally. I mean, you could... Uh, you know, if you want to give them to people in the chat, I think they would probably appreciate that. Alright. Opponent is attacking us for nine. Lost connection. Alright, let me reconnect. Yeah, it's only one per account, I think. Oh, don't 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 do this. Don't do me like this, right? Like right as we're at the very end of this game. Come on, Arena. You can do better. Oh, Arena, don't make me don't make me lose in this 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 tight game. We still have so many live draws. We have more dead draws, but we have some live ones too. No, don't don't time me out. Oh my god, all the animations are happening. Okay, Vantress Gargoyle. Resolve. You do another Cavalier Gales? What happened? Oh, is it just gonna keep doing this forever? We're just gonna be assaulted by this water from our opponent? Oh god, it's a little too late, friend. It's just a little too late. It's so close, but it's just too late. Okay, so I can attack, so that's bad.
This is this is the worst. Don't flatter yourself. Don't flatter yourself. Alright, we have to attack here. Put in blocks. Okay, so they want to kill this. Guess we'll kill this one. Gain some life. There's Oko. He's tricksy. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. And worms rule. Man, this, the water. The assaulting of the senses. Our opponent is waterboarding us right now. Oh, and I don't appreciate it. I don't like getting waterboarded at the very end. Look, just just drown us. Just drown us in the lock. We're we're ready to die. We're ready to die. Yeah, there you go. Good game. No blocks. Drowned in the lock. 100% out of beta. That's right. Alright. Well, we hit an obvious punt that game. Um, if we have Nyssa, I think we just easily win. Is the thing. But we did not have Nyssa. We uh, thought a Rager afterwards, like, Morons, total morons. And we paid, paid paid dearly for it. All right, that was all for playing the deck stand. We went nine and three. We could have gone ten and two. The two we lost, we definitely just lost. But the other one, we would have won. So sweet deck.